Hello and welcome back to John's Random Reviews. This is going to be one of the, the last John's Random Reviews videos. I'm not going anywhere, but it's going to be big changes on the channel. But for today, for today, it's still called John's Random Reviews. So what am I reviewing? Pretty obvious. Well, you might not have seen one of these before. It's a bit of an odd bit of kit. It is a, um, a vacuum cleaner, 18 volt Makita vacuum cleaner. It's a backpack. You sit it on your back and you can do all the hoovering and vacuuming. Not meant to say hoovering because that's like, I'll get people saying, no, it's not a hoover, it's a vacuum. Hoover is a, a, a name of a vacuum cleaner. But we'll get um, the numbers out of the, out of the way. So this is the Makita DVC 260. This is quite an old model, really. They don't really make this one anymore. They make the DVC 261 and a couple of other models. I got this off Facebook Marketplace for, I think, about 60 quid. Brand new. Although they don't make this anymore, I think they make the DVC 261. I'm not sure what the difference is in between the two models. But this thing here, no batteries, no batteries. They sell for 250 quid. A very, very expensive bit of kit. Now, mainly, I imagine this would get used for using in offices and office cleaners where you're bobbing about and they're going in and out of all the cubicles in the office. Uh, personally, I think this is best suited for like um, a laminate flooring or something like that. Or it does work on carpet, but I think them thin carpet tiles and laminate flooring is the best for this tool. So this um, vacuum runs off two 18 volt. Oh, hang on, LXT batteries. So I think I've got a six, two sixes in there. So they go in the port there. And obviously what we'll do is when we get it on the inside, we'll get it on, I'll strap it up on the back. It's got a, it's got like a shoulder straps here and it's got a waist strap there. Quite comfy, look at the comfy padding there. Yeah, it is quite comfy. And if you wanted to, if you, you wanted to carry it about sort of before you put it on your back, it's got a carry bit here. So, you might be asking, you might be asking, well, if you've got it on your back, how do you turn it on? Well, it's got a little remote control. It's got a little remote control. It comes off a cable with a little um, hook to go on your belt. So, if you look on there, it's got um, two speeds and it's got a light. So, if you are a little bit sort of like in the dark, if, you, if you're in the dark, a bit like me a lot of the time. But anyway, it's got a light on there. So we'll just fire it up. First away, so it's got two speeds. Pretty good. And that's the slower speed. So if you're an office worker or you you don't like pushing, you know, like you've got a vacuum cleaner, you're pushing it along, the cable's getting everywhere, and, and then if you have to go upstairs and you have to unplug it, this might be just a ticket. So have a look at, we'll have a look inside now. So I've done a video about the problem I had with this one when I bought it and the problem you could have with it. Right, this is the inside of the 36 volt vacuum. Got it right that time. So we'll have a quick peek in inside here then i'll explain about why i think this went bad or oh, it lost all its suction so yeah this is the motor no there the black bit there that's the motor and it's got the fan there that sucks all the meant to be clean air through there look at the size of the the controller blooming heck what it's weird that i don't know why it needs that that bigger controller but you can see the two ports for the 18 volt batteries and yeah i've given it it wasn't that bad it was a little bit mucky but i've given it a little bit of a clean out but now i'm gonna go in into why i think this lost all its suction so it was hardly working really first things first i think the chap or chaps that have been using this before me haven't been using the bags the bags that go on to the end there so i reckon that it's been this um hoover has been used without the bag i bought these bags didn't come with them so 
What I think's happened is maybe the, the bags got absolutely full or they didn't have one. So they thought, oh, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. It'll just fill this little bit here and then it'll clog up on the old HEPA filter there. So when I got this machine, this HEPA filter was absolutely filthy. God, it took some scrubbing, I tell you, to get it clean. But you can clean these HEPA filters. You've got to get a little bit of a toothbrush down in these little bits. Blew, I blew it out first and then I put it under the tap with a toothbrush. But on the edge of here, I've put this on. It's black felt. Hope you can see that. And on there, when I got it, was a um, little bit of sort of foam that went all the way around, but half of it had come off, so there was big gaps in it. So if you imagine the vacuuming in a way, most of the the crap can't get can't get through because of the HEPA filter. But if this is loose and this has got gaps, what happens is the muck, all the muck goes round the back of here and then goes straight into the fan and the motor. So when I took this thing to bits, I should have done a, you know, I should have done a, a taken a photo of it. If I've done one, I'll put one on. As you can see, there's sawdust and dust all rammed into the, the foam bit there. It was really bad. Absolutely blocked solid with bits and bobs. All this here, this bit of um, very kind of like, it's just a kind of like stop little bits of part, um, debris coming the other way, really. Um, but yeah, that sits there. And that was absolutely chock-a-block. So you can imagine it, kind of the motor working, it's sucking through this way and it can't get out. I'm surprised it didn't overheat. It probably did a bit. And it was all clogged up down here and everything. On the other side of there, there's another one. As you can see, they were both absolutely filthy. So what we're going to do is put it back together and then give it a bit of a demo, see, say, see how it is. But if you've got one of these and it's stopped working, what I mean is it just doesn't pick anything up, this is what you need to look at. If this foam bit here is damaged, because if it is, it's not getting the proper seal against this bit here, and you'll get a lot of crap through, and it'll block up on the other side of the fan. So there we go, we'll get it all back together and see if um, it's any good. To get to the um, inside, it's got a clip there, and this lifts up, and as you can see, I've got a bag in there. Now, have a guess what that's full of. We'll take this off. We'll have a look. Oh, 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 it's Pepper's hair. Dog hair. It's That's all we get in our house is dog hair. But anyway, you can buy these um, bags relatively cheap. I've got like a, a pack of five. I think it, it was about 15 quid or something like that. Um, generally, you'd throw these away. But if you suppose if you were desperate... You could sort of like do that thing I used to do, pick all the dog hair out of it. So that just sits in there as a little space. It sits in there to, and it goes onto the, hang on a minute. There. It goes onto the little, um, what's it called? Doodah. The doodah. It goes onto the little doodah there. And then this bit is the HEPA filter there. So, yeah. <laughs> It's not a drill, and it's not got much more to say about it. Obviously, this is the... What's this bit called? The hose. The hose, yes. This is the hose. And then what came with it was this for the floor attachment. Is that called a floor attachment? Don't know. I don't know. But yeah, and this bit here is adjustable. Now, when I got it, it was must have had a load of crap. Um, like stones got it stuck in there and it got a bit scratched, but I've cleaned it. You can have it up there or down there like that. And it swivels about like that. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to take it inside and I'm going to do some vacuuming. So, I've left it a few days. You might be horrified about the state of my house, but never mind. Blood me, we, can't, we all can't live in, in palaces or have cleaners like posh people do so we're going to go inside and give it a good test and then this thing i'm flipping this so like i said i've bought this for 60 quid i think i think it's i am worth on i think well yeah you're not going to get a tradie buying this but like an office an office manager might think oh, i'm going to buy this for my 
um, cleaning staff. So I might be able to get 100, 120 for it. I don't know, I might not get nothing for it, but anyway. Hello, Pepper. Yeah. Now then, Pepper's responsible for a lot of the dog hair in the house. Dog hair. Anyway, come on, concentrate on me. Now this is a normal vacuum we use. This is quite actually a good um, vacuum. Pepper's a little bit frightened of it, but anyway. So what we're gonna do is gonna try this Makita one. So it's not that heavy. I'm not sure. I'll try and find out how much it weighs. So you see, it's, oh God, bloody hell. Carry on. Sorry, he says, well, how would you get that? Ah, that was easy. That was easy. So we'll just finish getting strapped up, strapped up here. Now people say to me, people say to me, John, what's it like being the world's um, best husband and YouTuber? Well, I say, uh, my reply to them are, I'm just trying my best, you know, that's all I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Just, all I do is try my best. So if you try your best, you know what I mean? Oh, some men fail, fall short though, be warned. Look at me, I'm not falling short. I'm doing the vacuuming. So all strapped up, it feels actually quite comfy. You, can, you can't really, it's not, you can't really feel it on your back that much weight. So all you need to do now is, this is the on off switch, so I'll tuck that there. Ooh, there we go. And then, if I can grab hold of the other bit, uh, well, let's hang on, we'll, st we'll extend that out a little bit, like that. Well, that's okay. And then we'll connect it up. <laughs> hang on, bear with me. Right. Hang on, I think I prefer that the other way around, the other way like that. Oh, bloody hell! Don't knock it on your head with the bloody thing. <sighs> <laughs> this video is going all right, isn't it? Bloody <coughs> hell. Anyway, so that connects onto there like that. We'll just get that swiveled right. And now the first thing I've noticed, what you'll notice is this is only not very good carpet, but when you're going across the pile of the carpet, it kind of like, it's not perfect, but we'll, have, we'll give it a go. I'm going to do a little, little dance. So look at the maneuverability I've got. I've not, no tables. I've got three rain. I can even, look at this, I can even vacuum. The sound effect. Oh, that's quite good. Look at now, does it suck? That's the big question, does it suck? Well, it does suck, but not in the way it's rubbish. It sucks pretty good, so... And then we'll carry on a little bit. Come on, Pepper. Come on, She doesn't like it. You see what I mean about against the pile, though? I think it works better. We'll try it in the kitchen on the hard surface. Oh yes! What do you think, Pepper? good it's not as good as the mains one it's not mega 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 powerful but for doing like a quick whip round of a house or if you've got an office and you want to just go around and um give it a little bit a little bit of dust and a little bit of um crap on the floor it's all right i quite like it i quite like the freedom it allows me to do no cables i can hardly feel it on my back um so it's a good bit of kit so there we go. She's a, she's, a good, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. 
Right, anyway. Here's my review of the Makita 36 volt, two LXT batteries, vacuum cleaner, which is going on eBay. So I'm only doing this bloody video so I, I can put it on eBay and um, make a little bit of money, hopefully. I'm not keeping it, don't need it. So there we go. Okay, what do we say? Random is rad. Welcome.